story is new tonight. One of our neighbors, a returning citizen, reached out to us. He says he was turned away from a White House holiday event that he was invited to. He claims it was because of his criminal record, but he's confused because he runs a group that helps people who are incarcerated reenter society. And he was invited to the event along with that group. Melissa Kim is live near the White House to share his story. Melissa, what are we learning? Well, hi there, Leslie. Yeah, it was supposed to be a day of getting into the holiday spirit and seeing the White House Christmas decorations for Eric Weaver, his 10 year old granddaughter and all of their friends. But instead, Eric says it was a reminder of how hard it can be to get second chances in life. Three weeks ago, Eric Weaver says he got an email inviting him to the White House Holiday Open House because of his work with the National Association for the Advancement of Returning Citizens, an organization that helps former inmates rejoin the community. But when he got there on Monday night, he and his friend Tony Lewis were denied because... Secret Service um, just came back and you're not going to be allowed to enter the, the campus. Eric said it was clear that he was turned away because of his record. He founded his organization in 2016 after spending 22 years in prison for first degree murder at the age of 17. While he was incarcerated, something clicked while he was watching the news. But I saw a lady who had just lost her son and she was crying and screaming and it was the most excruciating scream I ever heard in my life. And I thought about that. That was something that I did to somebody's mother. Since then, he's earned his GED, two college degrees, and has now been out of prison for 14 years and says he's done everything right and more. So on Monday night, when he was turned away without warning, he says he was mortified. When they initially had to walk us away from a crowd after telling everybody else that was waiting, you good, you good, good. it was embarrassing to, to have to get walked and escorted out. Prompting Eric to realize the bigger picture. They need to be honest, like we give it, you know, if you committed a crime, mainly if you're a black person and you committed a crime, you're never going to be a citizen again. You're never going to be afforded all the rights that a normal citizen will be afforded. There's some doors that you're not going to be able to walk through. Now, we did reach out to Secret Service, and a spokeswoman tells us in part that they are not able to comment further on the means and methods used to conduct security operations at the White House out of concern for operation security. In the meantime, Eric said that he had a friend at the, who works at the White House tell him that maybe they could make a, ha a visit happen in January. But at this point, Eric says, you know, the damage has already been done. We're live outside the White House tonight. Melissa Kim, WUSA 9. Boy, I know there's still a lot we don't know, Melissa, but the sting of being turned away and the complexity around second chances makes this a really tough story to have to hear and to share. Yeah. All right. Still